Epigenetics is the study of the changes brought about in gene expression by external or environmental influences. These changes to gene expression may or may not be heritable and occur through the process of DNA methylation, the addition of a methyl group to DNA, typically on cytosine. Epigenetics does not alter the sequence of DNA, and methylation, in some cases, is reversible. It would be helpful to understand at this point just what the heck a methyl group is. Well, there you go. That's it. Or that. Same thing, just a different way of looking at it. The 3D model helps us better understand how the hydrocarbon, which is just a fancy way of saying a carbon atom with some hydrogen atoms latched on, takes up space, an important consideration as we'll soon see. Genes are long sequences of base pairs on DNA that give instructions on how to code proteins, which go on to provide all sorts of useful things. Infection resistance, for one. Let's say there's a gene called strong. Strong, when expressed, produces a protein that creates awesomeness. As a person with the strong gene, like me, for instance, outwardly displays acts of awesomeness, kind of like creating these videos, the overall level of awesomeness is reduced. Proteins, called transcription factors, arrive at the promoter region of the strong gene so that the abundantly high level of awesomeness within me can be maintained. As the process goes on, more transcription factors show up, ultimately leading to a loosening of the DNA, which allows one strand to be copied to messenger RNA mRNA is now carrying instructions on how to make the protein for awesomeness. However, the code mRNA is carrying has to be translated back to the language of DNA before the protein can be made. Other proteins, called initiation factors, help get that process started. There are many steps throughout this entire process at which regulatory mechanisms are in place. Transcription and initiation factors represent some of them. Now that we know how a gene is expressed in the normal run of things, what happens if the DNA is methylated within the region of that gene? Let's say that the strong gene is methylated near the promoter region. The transcription factors haven't got a lot of space to maneuver around in to begin with, but now with that gigantic umbrella of a methyl group hogging up all the space, the transcription factor is unable to reach the promoter region of the gene, thereby preventing expression.